Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board the Tor Hopper oh, Sheep. We wish you a pleasant journey. Holy, I'm excited. It is about 7 a.m. right now. I'm at Tokyo Station and I'm about to get on Japan's first class Shinkansen. This service is only offered to a few areas in Japan. So today we're going to leave from Tokyo Station and we're going to Morioka Station, which is in Iwate Prefecture. Right away, you'll probably notice that the train is a bit different from the most commonly seen Shinkansen in Japan. And it's because this is the Hayabusa 101, technically the fastest bullet train in Japan, which is very exciting. It's very, very different from the other ones, and especially inside the Grand Class. If you want to go get like a bento box for lunch, you can go grab that from the New Day's convenience store. And I'm so excited to see everything that they've got inside. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. It's so beautiful. Never flown like first class on an airplane, but I feel like this is what it would be like. Oh, luxurious. Okay, first impressions. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So let's do a little a little seat tour. This is okay. It's like a little drinks table. Very nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think at one point they're actually going to bring us out like food and drinks, and then <laughs> the fun stuff. This is all electric. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh what? Even like this part comes out so that your feet don't have to dangle off the edge. We woke up really early today, so I think I might actually take a nap later. <laughs> oh, we've also got a reading light here as well. This is, this has ruined me. This has ruined me for bullet trains for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm going to Brisbane in a couple of weeks and I'm like, <laughs> I don't even want to look at those trains. Wow. <laughs> we also have a little, a little slippers bag actually feels like I'm on an aeroplane right now. These kinds of slippers are normally like way too big, my feet are like sticking out the end. These actually like they fit me nicely comfortably around here and they're really warm and soft. Damn. They're gonna be like, what was what was the highlight of the trip? I'm like the slippers fit me. <laughs> oh thank you. <laughs> What's in the bag? Beautiful bottle of water. It's actually very fancy. I like it. <laughs> I got big chocolate. And then smart premium cabin. Welcome to Grand Class. Grand Class delivers quality and spaciousness unprecedented in train travel. Oh wow. Yep. This just feels like an aeroplane. So the Western meal is created by Dean and DeLuca, which is I don't know where that brand is from, but it's super famous. And then the Japanese one, I read online that it was created by like a really famous chef. I think I would choose the Japanese meal. Yeah. I believe they've just I've just given my order to someone on the Shinkansen. <laughs> That's a super unique flavor that I've never tasted in a pickle before. <laughs> New food experiences on the Shinkansen. <laughs> One thing that's like, this is a bit niche, but I find that like Japan does non-alcoholic drinks that are supposed to taste like alcoholic drinks. They do them really, really well. I mean, they obviously also have white wine and red wine and all of that, but it's still like 9 a.m. So <laughs> go with the non-alcoholic variety. Uh, grand class? No, no, it's grand. Grand, grand class. <laughs> Everyone that I've told, they're like, oh, the grand class. I was like, no, 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 no. no. You don't get it. Grand. It's grand class. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Chris has been running around filming me doing everything. He hasn't actually gotten to sit down yet. <laughs> what do you think? It's okay. <laughs> Chris is now going to sit here for like the next 20 minutes, like opening and closing it, just to, to see the mechanisms of how it works. <laughs> he does this every time. <laughs> This isn't like a grand class specific thing. This is just, this is just a, 
Japanese shinkansens are an amazing thing, but this is fancier than a lot of hotels I've been to. Like, it's got like the wash, wash here, soap there, and the dryer. All in the one section. Amazing. My little Brisbane mind is blown every time. <laughs> <sighs> well, that was an amazing ride, <laughs> but unfortunately we've arrived. Not unfortunately, I'm actually really excited to see Morioka. That was like the most luxurious three hour trip. It went so quick, man. Goodbye. Goodbye, beautiful Shinkansen. I will miss you forever. <laughs> So Morioka has some beautiful things to see in spring and winter, but since it's autumn, I am really looking forward to seeing the leaves. How silly to dream That you could be a real catch, what the heck Maybe I'm just a fool for love And you think you're too cool for love I have actually never seen these big, big, big maple leaves before in Japan. I don't know, have I? I don't think I have. This feels like America or Canada. Big. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh. So one of the food specialties from Morioka is something called ramen, which is a cold noodle dish in like a spicy broth. It's really unique to this area and apparently it came from the northern peninsula of Korea. So essentially North Korea, in 1954 when they opened this restaurant for the first time. This is the original restaurant that brought Rayman all the way to Morioka. And this restaurant also serves yakiniku as well, so if you just prefer to have that instead, you've got your own plate on the table, you can cook it there. Mm, I'm excited to try it, it sounds good. Wow, those noodles really are like quite chewy, and the soup is really nice. It's like a little bit sweet, it's really light. Mmm, I'm really into it, it's really good. at our next destination which is called Nan Shoso which is like an old traditional house I guess that's just been converted into this beautiful garden indoor area that you can sit indoors and outdoors to enjoy the view and like the garden is so beautiful I've seen like photos of this place in autumn and it looks outrageous yeah, it's so nice at a place called Densho Jet Whoa Densho N. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a little a little village of little thatched roof houses. They've turned them into these little like historical kind of like museums, but way more exciting than a museum. <laughs> more interesting. They're really beautiful to look at. Yeah, I love them. I love them so much. Just saying to Chris, this looks like a place a cat would be. <laughs> and I was like, I want to pet a cat. <laughs> We're here. It is day two in Morioka. This morning we checked out like this old historical building. It's very European style, which was really, really beautiful actually. 
and now we're heading to a soba restaurant because there's a kind of soba called wanko soba. It's a very particular kind of soba style and you'll see in a minute. So wanko soba is a kind of soba dish where it's just soba noodles like with the sauce in it but they'll serve it in these tiny little bowls that's kind of, it's essentially like one big mouthful worth of soba and someone will be sitting at your table and they'll just keep serving bowl after bowl after bowl until you tell them to stop and it's kind of like make your own record of like how many soba bowls you can eat it doesn't I'm not like super hungry right now so I don't think I'm gonna have a huge number yeah I don't think I'm breaking any records today but we'll see it's not a race. <laughs> is it a race? It feels like a race. I don't know. It's because they're like standing there the whole time, like waiting to put the next one in. <laughs> 15 of these small bowls equals one regular bowl of nonguri. You gotta get at least 15. But the average number for women is about 30 to 40. And for men, it's about 50 to 60. <laughs> so basically, you just keep going until you want to stop and you put your lid back on, and then that signifies that you're finished. Is it too early to put the lid on? No. Gonna be quick. <laughs> Put it like this. Akisugi. Kana kanji. De. Nokotte nai. Nokotte nai. That's so funny. It's like the most pushy a Japanese person has ever been. Twenty-two. <laughs> you. Average, but not bad considering that I wasn't really hungry at all. Tohoku people are supposed to be more chill, <laughs> but I feel like Wanko Soba doesn't fit into that category. It's like really like she's like no, no, you got you left a gap. I'm gonna I'm gonna put more soba in your bowl. <laughs> it's kind of like a game in a way. It's a fun experience for sure. It's like really quite unique. <laughs> I 
And that was pretty much the end of our little trip to Morioka. From here, we just headed back to Tokyo on the regular Shinkansen, which honestly feels like a bit of a step down from the Grand Class, even though they're both really amazing. But not without buying some souvenirs first from a shop called Fessan at Morioka Station. We got the Kamome no Tamago and also the Nambu Senbei, which were both delicious and helped me deal with the fact that I'm now just completely ruined for bullet trains because of my wonderful experience on the Grand Class. It was really such a such an amazing experience felt like i really got to take off an item that's been on my bucket list for quite some time now chris and i were talking recently because we didn't actually look up we didn't know how much these tickets cost and you know we were like how much do you reckon the grand class seats cost after having experienced it and chris guessed like a thousand dollars i guessed more more what's more like 500 to 700 dollars and then i looked up the price of the tickets online and yeah no definitely not anywhere close to that. On top of the regular Shinkansen fare that it would cost you, it only costs 11,310 yen more, which is crazy to me for all of like the service that I got, the comfortable chairs, the meals, like the, the little welcome back, everything for only for only an extra like $110. Australian dollars, US dollars, it's like $80 or something. Crazy, blew my mind. I couldn't believe that it's not more expensive. So now like having had the experience and knowing what the price is, I would say 100% it's totally worth the extra fare on top totally worth it like even if it's just like a one-off just to feel a little bit fancy to, to feel a little bit luxurious every now and then so worth it in my opinion the tickets are super easy to buy online you just go to their website and then select where you're leaving from and going to and the time of departure and then just scroll down here to grand class at their very affordable price and then click buy tickets log in and you can purchase the tickets from there and you can do all of this on their official website so check out the link in the description thank you so much to jr east for sponsoring this video and for taking me on this trip and thank you so much to you for watching this video all the way through to the end if you like this video you'll probably also like this video about trains in japan and they've got like a really a really really strong fandom here extreme fandom and i found it extremely interesting and i learned a lot about trains and now i have a whole new appreciation for trains and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're not already thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye